Excuse me. Good God. My name's Fanshawe. What? I'm here about the collection. From the museum? Well, you're not coming till next week. Well, I sent you a letter. Yes, I know. Uh, next week. This week. I'm here. Oh, uh, well, so it would seem. Pattern! You want to walk? I was just going for one. I tried ringing from the station. No point. He doesn't hear it and I don't answer it. That uh, fellow from the Fitzwilliams here. You got any bags? No, yes. Put him in the uh, cedar room, would you? I'm cooking. And get your boots on and I'll put you in the picture. We walk up over the hill, you can get your bearings, and then you can go about as you like. Have you got a pair of binoculars? Mine are broken. Well, it's all quite visible to the naked eye, you know. Mm. My great-grandfather started it all off, brought a load of crates back from the Crimea, the rest of it's mainly from around here. There you are, a bit clapped out, but I suppose they still work. Well, they sent you at a good time of year, a couple of weeks, this will all be gone. You a country boy? No. No, I'm not. Always feel one misses out if you don't have a bit of nature around you. That's not always a matter of choice. Sites of interest. Now oh, there's Wonston, used to be a monastery once upon a time. To the north, Lambston, some Civil War things. Was it Roman? I can't remember. My father would have known. Uh, Gallows Hill, and below it, the coach and horses. Good pint, good steak and ale pie, and somewhere over there, Fullnaker Abbey, or what's left of it. That should tickle your fancy. Uh, across the big field, the green one, after the farm. It's a good tower. It's a ruin. You must have gotten hold of Oldbourne Church. <sighs> right, I don't know about you, but I'm famished. What is it? I don't know how it could have happened. The front door was open, but then it's always open. No one ever comes. <sighs> the hell's the matter with you? Can't I take my own binoculars out?
So, tell me, how is the old boy? Your boss, Wilson. Professor Wilson, I should be calling him. He's well. I think he's well. I don't get to see him much. A bit offended he didn't come in person, to be honest. We were at school together back in the Dark Ages. He's a busy man. Must be. Made quite a name for himself, from what I gather. He's well regarded. Oh, yes? In the right circles. And what are they? Hmm. This is worse than usual. Oh. I'd fire him if I was paying him anything. That's why you're here, old lad. Selling off the family silver. Got to keep the old shack together somehow. Why does he stay then? Hmm? Patton. If you're not paying him. Search me. Get to a certain age, I suppose you find there's nowhere else to go. So, what do you think? Well, I need to know where it was all found. Can't authenticate otherwise. Not with any accuracy. Oh, it's all been catalogued. The old man was a real stickler for detail. Military mind. Didn't quite rub off on me, I'm afraid. It's a good collection. I hope so. Never really my thing, standing in a field, grubbing about in the past. One wants to get oneself out there, don't you think? Get a bit of life. Oh, that's Baxter's. My father bought his collection after he died. Some of it is pretty bizarre. Who's Baxter? He was a watchmaker down in the village, well before my time, of course. Fanced himself as an archaeologist, like yourself. Well, I am an archaeologist. Actually, I'm a doctor. I have to get you to take a look at my feet. Well, those are his scribblings. Used to go around the area making notes. No real education, just seemed to have a nose for it. They went over all the sites after he died. Always found something. Sounds like a good man. What? Well, useful, I mean. I couldn't tell you. He certainly wasn't liked. This is it. This is Oldborn, right? No, nothing like it. We'll make a rabbi. Well, it's a ruin, you said. That's right. Uh, Henry VIII dissolved it, I think. Um, is Mr. Richard... Left early. Had some errands to run or other. I'm to show you where everything is. Can't be easy. I manage. The house, I mean. It's a lot for one man. A uh, place like this needs attention. Holds a lot of memories.
Got everything you need? Thank you.
Hello? Hello? Who's there? Who's there? Get lost. We're about to send for a search party. I can't really explain it. I mean, you can see there was an abbey there, once upon a time. It's what I saw through the binoculars and in those pictures of Baxter's. No, there's just a few stones in an empty field. Wishful thinking, perhaps. And then I, uh, I found myself on Gallows Hill. It was strange. I. Got the impression that there was someone there. A poacher? Not much poaching goes on up there. Whoever... Whatever it was, it, it seemed like... It felt like a very unnatural kind of place. I'm oh, silly, I just... I ran. It's understandable. Hill's called Gallows Hill. We used to hang people there, leave them till they were pecked to bits. You getting all this? Did you have those glasses with you, Dr. Fanshaw? What is it with you and those damn binoculars? I would say that whatever feelings or whatever experience you had up there was very likely due to the owner of those glasses. Baxter, he's dead. I know. My father served on the inquest. They returned a verdict of unsound mind. Well, sit down then if you're going to talk. Look, Baxter was a very peculiar fellow. By himself, you know, in amongst all that junk and stuff. He used to be very bothered with ransacking and rummaging all the history of the place. But that wasn't all, apparently. As time went on, he started to get some funny ideas of how to spend his nights. He 
always had some project on the go or something. And pretty much the last job he did was finishing off those glasses you took. And then, one day, he just upped and went, disappeared. There was a rumor that he'd left the town. Some thought he had debts. Others that he'd come to no good. Which was true, in a manner of speaking. What, the hanged men came for Baxter because they didn't like their bones being boiled? You said yourself, your father thought that there was something to back up those drawings he made. Somebody got drunk and did him in, didn't they? As I said, he wasn't well liked. Will that be all for tonight? It's an interesting story. Everything all right? Yes, fine. Only I... Uh... Everything's fine. Thanks.
Dr. Fenshaw! Fenshaw! Dr.
I'm sorry I didn't... Sorry about the collection. Doesn't matter. Whatever it's worth, it's only a drop in the ocean. At least I've still got pattern. You're going to be all right. <laughs>